All right, welcome to the Robert Show. Look, we are, who are, we have today, Yanis yeah, and Jark. Welcome to the Robert Show. Super excited to be chatting with both of you. I've seen some great announcements today that happened at the keynote, Jark. Amazing announcements. Yanis, I've been seeing you all around meeting the community and you've been, you know, doing workshops. I know yeah. you're quite tired, but then we have <laughs> to do this. And uh, yeah. I definitely want to learn more about, uh, first of all, what have you been seeing? How's the fling forward 2024? How do you feel the vibe? So actually, it's quite amazing. I didn't expect it myself. I mean, especially since last year, there is so much growth and Yep. So many things at the place, and this this year in particular is really special, right? Uh, because we celebrate Flink's tenth uh, year anniversary, and there were so many interesting announcements uh, taking place. And the other part, I believe, is that we made uh, really interesting also announcements la last year that yep. matured over the year. So it's really nice seeing this year uh, actual use cases, how the technology matured, and right. overall what happened within the Flink community over the year and lots of things happened uh, exactly this year. exactly and i've been you know talking to a lot of community members customers enterprise leaders who are your and obviously the contributors uh, and i've been seeing some interesting super interesting interest uh, and after the announcements like fling 2.0 i know jark announced something pretty cool as well so we, we're going to talk about that but talking about last year what was that missing piece that you could say that oh this is something that we've kind of uh, filled in, and now the community can just run in this direction and uh, you know feel more confident about Flink. So um, more than a year ago, there was uh, a new project that we open sourced uh, called Apache Timon, mm -hmm. uh, and it was about bringing stream and stream processing directly on the lake side to make it more uh, real time. Yep. introduced streaming overall. Last year at Flink Forward, we also introduced uh, a complete solution that we call the Stream House, yep. which is about the unification between uh, streaming and the Lake House. Yes. And this solution, uh, it was really nice to see it grow within the year. I think more than more than hundreds of companies adopted uh, within the last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, it's comprised of three core technologies: Flink CDC on the ejection layer. Apache Flink on the compute, and we also have Apache Timon as a unified mm -hmm. uh, batch and streaming lake storage. The other thing that we introduced late, uh, we, we introduced uh, in Flink 1.20 was the materialized table, a new edition, yep. the application layer, because and this aims to uh, simplify the developer experience. Mm -hmm. The amazing work that this guy here and uh, his team is doing. Yeah. But still, um, although we have this uh, unified solution, there was a missing piece. And because all these things for data analytics aim to address near real time latencies. Yeah. But there was a missing piece for uh, millisecond level latencies that we were missing them. Mm. And uh, I know, Jark, you mentioned, uh, you spoke about it in today's keynote. So I'm kind of excited to learn a little about that. Uh, can you tell us about what you announced today at the keynote and how is it going to help the larger community? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, in the morning, I just uh, announced this uh, new project we did in the last year. We, we named it Fruits. Mm. So Fruits is a uh, German word means river. And uh, we hope the, fr uh, the, the, pro uh, the Fruits project can 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 support the large scale data mm -hmm. in motion and uh, flow into uh, lakes in like a river. Wow! So it I like the analogy, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So 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 we want to bridge the data lakes and uh, as a computation mm. layer like Flink uh, in a better uh, in a better solution in a better latency and freshness. So here comes the uh, Flux project, and of course everyone knows. Uh, Flink and uh, Kafka are twins. Why not Kafka? That is because we have noticed many problems when using Kafka in streaming analytics. So mm -hmm. we want to fix those problems uh, in a more <coughs> in a more analytics way nice. because Kafka is not built for an, uh, streaming analytics. It is built for streaming event because all the data in Kafka is stored in raw format, but an analytics requires some color for my data. Mm. And we rebuild the streaming storage in coronal storage. 
So it is a new project for nice. Spring Analytics. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very important points that you've mentioned here. Uh, just on uh, following up on uh, the question itself, uh, I'm kind of curious to also know about how does how do you kind of see the future with Flask? And uh, I know there are uh, you know obviously people already talking about it. The users, the community, they're excited about after the announcement. Everyone's you know talking about it, and they're like, when can we get our hands on it, right? Uh, but how do you see the future? Uh, where do you see it going? And what type of problems it's going to actually solve for the community and for the enterprises out there? Yeah, I see there's one changing in the industry is mm -hmm. that the, the converging, the merging of data streaming and uh, data lake house. Yep. So we, we have proposed the stream house mm -hmm. uh, last year. And... Uh, the first project is just one big step into that in, uh, direction to, to to combining the data streaming and the data lake house. So we built in to uh, to, uh, to to use lake house as the uh, teardrop storage in in Flows to better uh, cooperate with data lakes. Yeah. Yeah, Jock, thanks for sharing those insights. Uh, Yanis, one quick question for you. Uh, I know you've been talking to a lot of uh, users and you've been doing workshops. What have you been listening in uh, now after the announcements? These were last two days when you did the, uh, you know, obviously you did the workshop. But after the announcements, what do you kind of feel that, uh, how, how our community kind of uh, feeling the excitement about the announcements? How well, is it? Honestly, it was crazy, man. I, I didn't anticipate this thing. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I knew uh, that it could be something disruptive. Yeah. But I wouldn't expect people to actually grasp it uh, so fast. I mean, the moment he started announcing, everyone started asking, like, okay, when can we start using this thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the same also with the other technology and the solution we have. I mean, because right now uh, here. We have shared so many success stories and how people have been using these technologies and the actual impact. Right. And everyone just got, because, I mean, it's been around for a year, so not many people actually knew it, and especially uh, when people don't really, uh, are just getting started in their first step about streaming in real time. So it's nice see, uh, com uh, seeing people coming here, seeing all these things and understanding immediately how they can, how these things can apply and solve their business problems because they solve they solve real life uh, business problems, so it's mm. really interesting. And with Fluss, the thing I love is how the name is a German word for river. Yeah. And I love how it also is used as an acronym to that means Flink Unified uh, Streaming Storage. I mean, <laughs> I don't I don't know how this coincidence happened, but it was really nice. Yeah, exactly. And I was kind of wondering as well, like, does that have a meaning to it? Yeah. But thanks for clarifying that. So yeah. uh, it's awesome. One last question for both of you. Uh, if people want to reach out, learn more about the announcements, I know there's a blog, they can definitely get more deeper into it, uh, but I know you all are active on social media as well, and you all keep putting out the content. Uh, there's GitHub repo as well, which they can follow. Where can they do that? Uh, Yanis, for you? Um, I think they can reach out to us directly. I mean, we're always uh, responsive everywhere, but uh, they can also reach out uh, to the company like Ververica. Right. Uh, because all these technologies uh, and all this work around unified bus and streaming, this is where it comes from. So we'll be gl glad to assist and uh, address any questions or provide more feedback on other technologies. That's awesome. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with both of you. And yeah, uh, great, great announcements that you all made today. So, Jark, uh, thanks for that. And thanks for visiting the Robert Show and sharing all the details with us. It was, it was always a pleasure. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching us.